Welcome to Red Tastic. Story 1. I, 27 female, have decided not to pay for my half-sister's 19 females college because she accused me of being a dirty thief. A little backstory. My sister and I share a mother. She from the second husband, me from the first. While we're technically half-siblings, she and I are and were as tight as ever. Things were pretty bad when her dad passed away a year ago. I landed my dream job after graduating college. The pay is good and I can afford to splurge a bit and save some money. I've been saving for my post-grad. But that's on the back burner now. My sister is starting college this year and mom couldn't be prouder. She's going to a local one. Mom can't afford to pay tuition, what with losing her husband and all. So she asked me to see if I could help. I told her not to worry and that I could cover her tuition expenses if she worked part-time. She could even crash at my apartment since her college is close. This means I will have to hold back on my own splurges. No more going out every Friday night and taking trips out of town with my friends. But I don't regret anything. She's my sister. Two weeks ago, she moved into my apartment and we are roommates. I recently purchased a used car. I don't know much about it except that it's pretty new and it gets me from point A to B without trouble. As soon as I got it, we drove down to the lake and spent the afternoon together. Here's where things went south. She lost the watch her dad gave her. It was a nice watch. And that particular brand doesn't come cheap. During all of this, I learned that the watch has been passed down since at least her great-grandfather. Needless to say, there's some sentimental value there for my sister. We turned the apartment upside down to find it. I asked her whether she actually brought it with her. And she swears she did. But under her breath, I know. I heard her say something about me taking it. Seriously? I asked her to repeat herself and she did. She actually thought I took the watch and pawned it to buy my car. She asked how I could buy a car not long after she moved in. Hello, I was saving up. In our tiny town, everyone knows everyone. And that means my employer and friend knows my sister. When the story hit Facebook, my employer knew what was going on immediately. She asked me at work to elaborate. She's a gossip, but she's not going to butt in. My co-workers know what's going on too, and I've gotten some pretty nasty stares around the office. I also received calls from mom and her dad's family. Thankfully, mom isn't choosing sides, but her dad's relatives are nuts. They're pretty pissed, so they're not listening to my side of the story. After days of harassment on social media and my phone blowing up, I confronted my sister. I said her post embarrassed me at work and her dad's family wasn't letting up. My sister said it served me right and that's when I lost it. I told her to pack her stuff and get the hell out. She could forget about my generous offer. We could have talked things through, but no, she had to get the entire town and her dad's family involved. She packed up and went straight home. Mom called me in tears, begging me to reconsider. But I'm holding firm in my decision. So, am I the a-hole for retracting my offer to pay for my sister's education? Update. Wow, this got popular. Thanks to everyone for the support and to the few who PM'd me to say how bad of a sister I am. You can all suck it. Anyways, here's the update since a couple of you guys asked for one. I don't like to gloat, but I was right. I didn't steal the watch. I knew that, but my sister also found out the truth. Her dad's watch was in its safe box. That's what she calls a special shoe box. Back at her mom's house, she got it ready for the move to my apartment, but forgot to take it with her. She gave some weak half-assed, I'm sorry, but you need to understand I was stressed kind of apology. So yeah, she can kiss a college fun goodbye. Mom's house was only a 30-minute drive away, and she could have easily gone back home to check. Instead, she accused me of stealing. Oh, not a single person from her dad's family called to apologize after learning the truth. So that sucks. Your sister is wrong for what she did to you. And the fact that she didn't keep her accusations to herself only made it worse. She could have decided not to tell anyone until she was 100% sure you stole the wristwatch. But she didn't. You are not the a-hole for not funding her college anymore. You thought she deserved it before, but now she has proved to be undeserving. College tuition isn't cheap. If she wanted it, she wouldn't have given you a half-assed apology. She would have also told her dad's side of the family to apologize to you because you didn't steal her wristwatch. Story 2 
My stepdad married my mom when I was six and my stepbrother was 15. My stepbrother did not like me or my mom. He was never outright rude or mean to us, but he refused to talk to us unless it was absolutely necessary. For example, if he ran into us on the street, he would walk right past without acknowledging us. If I called him my brother when he was around, he would correct me and remind me that we weren't family. This continued when he turned 18 and moved out. He forbade my dad from bringing my mom and me to his college graduation. We were not invited to any of his special events. Since he was 18, I have had no contact with him outside of family functions until a couple weeks ago. He's 36 now and I'm turning 27 next week. Last month, my stepdad died in a car accident. At the funeral, my stepbrother told me that he wanted to try to mend our relationship. When he told me that, I said okay, but since I've had time to think about it, I'm really not okay with that. He has treated me like I don't exist for 21 years. I don't want to have a relationship with someone who would treat me like that. Yesterday, he reached out to me and asked to get coffee. I told him that I wasn't interested in seeing him. He said that families always make time for each other. It devolved into an argument that culminated in me telling him that he's not my family. Since then, I've gotten a few calls from members of my stepdad's family encouraging me to patch things up with my stepbrother. They say I don't understand how hard stepbrother took the divorce and that it's normal for there to be tension between step-siblings. I understand that, but I don't feel like I'm obligated to have a relationship with him. I will concede that I'm being petty, but am I the a-hole? Edit. I forgot this. The family members that have called me gently told me that it was uncalled for to tell my stepbrother that he's not family and that I need to apologize. You're not the a-hole for not wanting to mend a relationship with your stepbrother, OP. He has made his position in your life clear all this while. His sudden change of mind could probably be due to the death of his father or something else. But either way, he has to understand that he can't just call you family after 21 years of telling you otherwise. I would say you should have that coffee with him though. People change. Maybe he has. If he hasn't or you just don't like him as a person, then cut him off. But at least then you know you've done all you could. Now for some comments. I'm not going to place a judgment but will say this. Life is short. It's crazy what a few drinks and a long ass talk can do. There is a lot of grief and difficult emotions going on for both of you right now. A brother, even one who was shitty in the past, may not be a terrible thing to have right now. Good luck. No a-holes here, but I would say give it a chance. Deaths in the family have a way of waking people up to their shittiness. My mother and aunt didn't speak for years because of their childhood, hated each other even. Then their mother, who they both hated, died due to medical malpractice. And it made them realize they needed each other. They were both well into their 30s by this point. It's been 20 years since my grandmother's death. And my mom and aunt are thick as thieves and I was able to have a great relationship with my cousins. I would never have had if my mom didn't open up and reach out to her sister she used to hate. People change. Family can be good. Forgiveness is healthy. I don't really know what to say here honestly. Close family deaths can really shake a person, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's actually realizing that he was being a douchebag for 21 years. However, after 21 years of saying and acting like you aren't family, it's kind of pushy and presumptuous of him to say that you should be making time for him because he's family. It's selfish at the very least. Obviously, no one here knows exactly what's going on in his head, but that's exactly why you should be careful. I don't think you were wrong to refuse to meet him, and I also don't think it's okay for him to imply that you need to hear him out due to a very fragile, barely there connection. I'm leaning towards not the a-hole rather than no a-holes here, because of that line specifically. Story 3 My brother is from my mother's first marriage and is 10 years older than me. I'm 25 right now and getting married pretty soon. Obviously, it's a small thing. My brother who is 36 has been married to his ex-wife for about 13 years. They don't have kids because they were child-free. I'm very close to his ex-wife, let's say Rose. How could I not? She has been in my life since I was 10. But like three months ago, everything came crashing down. Apparently, my brother had gotten another woman pregnant and Rose found out. He left her for his mistress who is almost ready to give birth. I'm extremely disgusted with my brother. For one, cheating is disgusting and second, 
I legitimately love Rose as a family and seeing her hurt is unbearable. My brother has brought his new girlfriend around since restrictions have been lifted. I don't know, I don't seem to be able to get warm towards her, especially because she knew of Rose's existence. This weekend, I came to the decision that I don't want my brother at my wedding. Rose had told me it would hurt too much to come, but that she would make it up for me. I don't want to see my brother there. I don't want to get to know his girlfriend. My fiancé is on board with that decision. My family, however, disagrees. They say that this situation has nothing to do with me. And while I can say no plus one for my brother, I can't prohibit my brother from coming to his only sister's wedding. My brother is apparently very hurt and has called me crying, but I don't know. I don't want to. Am I the a-hole? Now for some comments. Not the a-hole. Cheating is absolutely disgusting. It's your wedding. Your fiancé supports you. You can invite or uninvite anyone that you want. Their marriage may not have been perfect, but that's no excuse for cheating. I'm sorry you're torn, but ultimately it's your decision. Not the a-hole. You can invite whomever you want to your wedding. If your family doesn't like it, they can visit your brother on their own time. What he did to Rose is effed up. Good on you for keeping her in your life and putting the blame where it belongs. With your philandering brother. You and Rose both sound awesome. Not the a-hole. There's this idea that you have to always love and support your family always. It's BS. Your brother did a shitty thing to your sister-in-law and doesn't deserve to get off scot-free. She's been in your life a decade and it's great you're showing her she still matters to you. My family had a similar thing, no infidelity, but my brother was 100% responsible for the failure of his own marriage. But we had known his wife for 20 years as they had been long friends before they started dating or got married. He tried to get us not to include her, but we all put our foot down and said we wouldn't be doing that. Especially as the breakup was his fault. You're a good person for treating your sister-in-law this way.